Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 38. We are, we are in the process of solving some, some, uh, some percentage problems for the last few days. Today we're going to do set number 5. As always, as always, as soon as I finish setting up the problem on the blackboard, it is not a bad idea, it is in fact an excellent idea for you to pause the video and solve the problem yourself first. After you have the answer, then continue watching the video and compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds. Here's the problem. First one. 60% 60% of 30% of what is 81? 60% of 30% of what is 81? Let's do it together, together, shall we? The trick is very simple, exactly the same trick what, what we've been doing for the last four, we, four sets. This is our set number five. The trick is simply, the trick is simply to translate every single word, every single word. Don't skip a single word. Translate every single word using this guide using this translation menu. So here we go. 60 60 percent means percent means literally percent literally means literally means per 100 percent means per 100 out of 100 per 100 or over 100 percent means over 100 60 percent over 100 off means the word off simply means times times or multiply so 60% of 30%, again percent means per 100, of what? This is our unknown. This is what we're solving for. We're going to represent that with letter X. And then we have is, is means equal 81. Voila! What do you know? That equation that you see there, we are 100% sure, it is 100% guaranteed. There is no doubt whatsoever that that equation is in fact correct. Having the right equation is of course the most the most crucial step in the whole process of course. Let's solve for x. I'm not going to go through every step, the nitty gritty steps. Basically we want to isolate the x. I'm going to leave it up to you to know that. We have to bring these to 100 on the top there. We multiply this side by 100. We multiply that side by 100. That's going to kill this 100. And that 100 is going to end up here. Same thing, we repeat the process, and what we end up is x equals, and then we divide by 60 and 30 both sides, you know the process. And x, when we manipulate it, we want to isolate the x by itself, and it should equal 81 times 100 times this 100 over whatever we see at the bottom, on the top here, we'll end up on the bottom here, 60 times 30. 60 times 30. That's it, we're done. Very simple, very straightforward. We see 60 here, we see 100 here, let's divide top and bottom by 10, that's going to knock out this zero. Let's divide top and bottom by 10 one more time, that's going to knock out this zero and that 10 is gone. So I see a 6, 6 here and I see 81 here. 81, is 81 divisible by 3? Is 81 divisible by 3? How do we know if a number is divisible by 3? We have learned this before. And if you have not watched the videos in, in their proper sequence, it's imperative, it is crucial. It is vital that you watch all the videos in the proper sequence because there are many concepts that I assume that you know by now because I, I take it for granted that if you are watching day number 38, I take it for granted that you have watched day 1 through 37. In one of those videos we learned that if the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Look for the videos with the heading of divisibility rules. Divisibility rule. 8 plus 1 is 9. And since 9, the sum of the digits is 9, and since 9 is divisible by 3, we can divide top and bottom by 3. How many 3's in an 8? 8 has 2 3's. 8 has 2 3's. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 1, becomes 21. How many 3's does 21 have? 21 has 7 3's. And that takes care of that 3. We can divide by 3 one more time, because 2 plus 7 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3 one more time and 27 has 9 3's and that, that will make this 6 into a 2. 
I say 2 here, I say 100 here, let's divide top and bottom by 2. That will knock out this 2 and we're left with 1 and the 100 will become 50. We're left with 50 times 9. The final answer is 50 times 9. 50 times 9. What we're claiming is that x equals 50 times 9. And how much is 50 times 9? How the hell do I know? I know 50 times 10, that I do know. 50 times 10 is 500. If 50 times 10 is 500, if 10, if 10 50s, if 10 50s are 500, If 10 50s are 500, if you were to take away 150 from it, if you were to take away 150 from it, we'll end up with 950s. Because 500 represents 10 50s. This 500 represents 10 50s. If we take away 150 from it, we should have 950s. And there I do know 500 minus 50 is 450. So that's our final answer. Are we done yet? The answer is no. We're not quite done yet. We have to go, make, we have to go back and plug this value in in the problem and see if it actually makes any sense. Let's do it, shall we? So what we're claiming, what we're claiming is that 60% of 30% of this watt part that you see here, we're going to replace it with 450. And this is what we're claiming. We're claiming that 60% of 30% of 450 is 81. Let's see if it makes any sense, shall we? We need the room, obviously. So let's first find out 30% of 450. We know 10% 10% of 450 is 45. I'm going to pick up some speed. 10% of 450 is 45. Therefore, 30% is going to be 3 times as much. 30% of 450 is going to be 3 times as much, which is 5, 3 is a 15, carry 1, 12 plus 1 is going to be 13. So that represents 30% of, that represents 30% of 450. So we have 30% of 450, we have 30% of 450, now we have to take a 60% of that, now we have to take a 60% of that. How are we going to find out 60% of that? 60% of course is 3 fifths. 60%, 60% of anything is just 3 fifths. 60% of anything is 3 fifths, so we have to take, we have to take 3 fifths of that amount. We have to take 3 fifths of that amount. 13, 135 times 3 over 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 13 has, 13 has two 5's. The remaining 3 goes and joins the 5 becomes 35 and 35 has 7 5's. And 27 times 3, 27 times 3 is 81. What do you know? Which is exactly what we claim. What we claim is that See this, this 3 fifths, this 3 fifths represents 60%. So 60% of 30% of 450, we first found 30% of 450, we found out that 30% of 450 is 135, and when we took a 60% of that 125, or rather 135, we found out that 30% of 450 is 135, and when we took 60%, 3 fifths of 135, we found out it's 81, which is exactly what the problem tells us. Problem tells us that 60% of 30% of 450 is 81. It's no longer a question mark. It's 81. It makes sense. It fits. Let's do one more. Of course, the, of course, the very fact that you're watching this video tells me that you are the sort of audience that this video commands this video requires because if you happen to be one of those people who would, who would have the attitude and they would say why the hell should I go through all this trouble I, I, I happen to be a proud owner of a calculator and of course this video, these videos are not meant for them here we learn how to use our brain here we learn how to become conversant with numbers how to become conversant with numbers what does it mean to be conversant? I'm not going to tell you here, I'm going to build some suspense here, I want you to learn it yourself. It's a word that we learned a long time ago in our vocabulary videos. It just happened to come up in the conversation, so I'm going to tell you when we learn it. Just give me one brief second because there are too many words beginning with C. Converse, converse. Oh boy, this is, this. just give me one second here, I'm looking for the. Sometimes the faster you try to do, the longer it takes.
I can't find it. I will find it and I'll put it on the blackboard and when you watch tomorrow's video you will have the day number and then just type in vocabulary words just give me one second okay one minute it's not here I'm gonna go systematically instead of going all over the place Oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell? I just assumed it was going to be in a, in a much later videos and I wasn't looking in the earlier one. We learned it on day number three. We are up to day number 75 in our vocabulary lessons and I was looking in the, in the newer videos. Day number three is when we learned about conversion. Just type in vocabulary words, whichever test that you're preparing for. If you're preparing for the SAT, just type in SAT vocabulary words, day number three or just type in GRE vocabulary words, day number three, the video will pop right up. Watch the video and learn the word conversant. I want you to be, I want you to be conversant with numbers. I want you to be conversant at numbers. I'm not sure what the idiom is. Anyway, 75%, here's the next question, 75% of 72 is 72 is same as 60% of what? Here's, here's the problem. I want you to pause the video. I insist to do the problem yourself and then we'll do it together. Okay? Here we go. Well, here we go then. 75%. 75% is same as 3 quarter. 3 quarter. That represents 75%. Of means times. Of means. Of means times. 72 is same as, that's your equal sign, 60%, 60% is 3 fifths, 60% of anything is 3 fifths, you have to know your fifth, you have to know your quarters, you have to know your eighths, you have to know your tenths, you have to know all of those things, and all of those things we have covered already in the previous videos, I don't know which day, but they are there, look for the headings from day number 1 through 37 and you will find one video which will talk about the tenths and the fifths and you will find another video will discuss the quarters and the eighths it's there so 75 percent three quarters is same as 75 percent 75 percent of third 72 of 72 is same as is same as means equal sign 60 percent which is three fifths of means times and then x that's it we're done multiply both sides by five and we can get rid of this five Divide both sides by 3, and we can get rid of that 3, and we're left with x by itself. In other words, multiply this side of the equation by the reciprocal of the 3 fifths. So the reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. By the time you bring the 3 fifths to that side, it becomes 5 thirds. We have to bring the reciprocal. So x equals, x equals 5 thirds times 3 quarter times 72. Please, they're going to drop out. Is 72 divisible by 4? The answer is yes. How do we know if a number is divisible by 4? If the last two digits of the number is, are divisible by 4, if the last two digits of a number are divisible by 4, then the number itself is divisible by 4. Here, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't really play any role because the number itself actually only has two digits. So you simply have to know that 72 is divisible by 4 because 72 is exactly 8 less than, eight less than 80. 80 represents... 80 represents 10 fours, and since 72 is 8 less than that, and 8 are 2 fours, so 72 is 8 fours. 8 fours are seven, uh, no, 8 fours are 32. What the hell am I talking about? This is all wrong. Let's divide by so, let's divide by 4. Ignore everything that I just said. Do you understand? Erase everything. In case you're curious what it was, it has a name for it. It's called babbling. Erase it. Delete it. Press the delete button. Let's divide this by 4. 7 has how many 4's? 7 has 1 4. 7 has 1 4. The remaining 3, the remaining 3 is going to go there and join the 2 and become, it becomes 32. And how many 32's does 4 have? How many 4's are there in 32? 32 has, I'm now I'm paranoid, 32 has 8 4's. 32 has 8 4's. Of course, 
32 is going to have 8 fourths, not 72. 32 is going to have 8 fourths because 32 is 8 less than 40. And 40 we know has 10 fourths. I got distracted earlier because phone was ringing in the background. So that's it. The final answer is 5 times 18. 5 times 18. And how much is 5 times 18? But how the hell do I know? I know 10 times 18. I know 10 times 18 is 180. And therefore, 5 times has got to be half of that, which is 90. Which is 90. Let's put it back in here and see if it makes any sense. Now we're going to see if, it, if this statement actually makes any sense. So what we're claiming is that what, what we're claiming is that 3 quarter, which is the 75% of 72, let's first find out what that is, 3 quarter of 72, let's divide 72 by 4, 7 has 1 4, the remaining, th remaining 3 goes and joins 3, Rema remaining 3 goes and joins the 2 becomes 32, and 32 we just found out says 8 fourths. 3 times 18, 3 times 18 is 54. So 54 and this quantity, 60% of 90, let's find out what 60% of 90 is. 60% of 90, what do you suppose 60% of 90 is? 60% is 3 fifth, 3 fifth of 90. How many fives does 90 have? 9 has 1 5, 9 has 1 5, the remaining 4 goes and joins the 0 becomes 40 and 40 has 8 fives, 3 times 18. Well, that's exactly what we had here, 3 times 18, 3 times 18, there you go. Of course, they are the same, because it's the same thing, 3 times 18 and 3 times 18. 60% of 90 is same as 3 fifths of 90, and 3 fifths of 90 boils down to 3 times 18, and 75% 72. 75 of 72 is 3 quarter of 72, and 3 quarter of 72 also boils down to 18 times 3. They are the same, it makes sense. It makes sense because they are the same. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.